The story I'm about to tell you is not a fairy tale. Even if it talks of werewolves, the devil, and much worse still. It happened to me and my two brothers in that forsaken month of December 1858, near the village of Wolvesvale in Lower Canada. So, welcome everybody to Sang Freud Tales of Werewolves, and I'm excited to play this game. I have been wanting to play it for a little time now, and I'm glad that I was able to buy it now. So this is going to be my very first Let's Play ever, so I hope you guys will enjoy this as much as I enjoy to play this. So let's get started. It is kind of a shame that I can't pick her as the main character, but well, I'm gonna go with Jack with the higher difficulty. I've been watching a few Let's Plays uh, re regarding this game thus far, but they've been played with shows here, so I'm gonna go with Jack. I anyways like to play games with the higher difficulty, so I'm gonna go with him. So, Jack is the Jack, oh Carol. Jack Sue is strategic players that favor cunning and traps to survive. As soon as he learned to walk, Jack started following his father to Iris Adventure Bone O Carol to go hunting and trapping. Later, his passion for complicated traps got him interested in new technologies just as steam engine explosive, and he conducted many ingenious experiments. In 1837, he took up arms with the Patriots and fought for democracy and responsible, uh, responsible government in Lower Canada. However, after wounding this phase in the Battle of St. Charles, he had to take refuge and live as a hermit in an isolated cabin in a forest near the village of Fulles Whale. Fulles Whale. Choose. And I'm just gonna replace this one as I've only tried it to see about the different settings a little bit. This will do. So we're gonna be starting the game in 1858, December day 5th. So, some of the first, or the first enemies that we're gonna be encountering are fools. For some time now, many villagers in Fulvens Vale uh, have noticed a lot of strange behavior coming from the fools in the forest, acting more aggressive than usual. There are even rumors that they've been possessed by the devil. Continue. Chapter 1 Exile and Reunion. As I live and breathe, if it isn't my little sister, Josephine, what good wind blows you to the deepest, darkest forest to see your hermit brother? More like a storm, I'm afraid. The parish priest went crazy and jumped me like a demon when I was dusting the sacristy. I tried to fend him off with the candelabra but a candle fell on the floor and the church caught fire. Ever since, the whole parish of Poor Josephine. it's my fault. That's just crazy. Doesn't make any sense at all. But hey, don't just stand there like you're holding up the door. The thing is, 
You see, Jacques, I'm not alone. Don't worry. It wasn't my idea to come here, brother. Without Joseph to protect me, the villagers would have torn me to pieces in the village square. He can't live there anymore either. Please, Jacques, for the love of our mother, let bygones be bygones and let us both stay here with you. Did you hear that? Sounds like a wolverine's outside spooking our horses. You two make yourselves at home. I'll try to get rid of it. And Josie, don't feel obliged to finish my whiskey. Don't feel obliged to finish my whiskey. Don't you ever even think about it. Alright, so here we are. I kind of wonder what's uh, up with these two brothers if they don't like each other. Don't you know the exact reason. Overall, I think the story is pretty nice in this game. Bloody hell! Horses are dead! And it's gotta be a wolf, not a wolverine. The pack must not be far. Hmm. So, let's go and take care of the very first wolf. Eating my horses. You leave them alone, even if they're dead. I don't want you to be eating them. They're my wolves. My wolves, my horses. Uh, but yeah, I suppose it left a wolf bell for me to get that six cents for from the town or something uh, that would be the logical solution at least so here we're heading 